once upon a time in a deep and ancient. That's a going because. Yeah, forest, absolutely. There lived a pair of crafty goblins. <laughs> the crafty goblins did everything together until one day when darkness overwhelmed the big wooden house in which they lived. Humanity's goblin. <laughs> Blamed for the darkness, oh my God. Brother Goblin was forced to leave the forest while his sister had to stay behind. Ten years later, they were finally reunited. And together, they decided to confront the darkness in the big wooden house. Though they sought the help of their friends in the forest, they found that no one wanted to delve into the long gone past. This is how the goblins found themselves alone in the woods trying to discover why darkness had submerged the big wooden house. Ali has his up to... What? For a year subscription? Holy moly. Oh. Holy moly. <laughs> Tomorrow we should play Compass and North Star in the woods. Be sure to wear your hat then. <laughs> you be sure to wear your hat. <laughs> All right, who wants ice cream? Me! Eat up. Without a word, she went out and buried the tiara in the ground beneath the sapling. And as the final scoop of dirt fell, the tiara felt <laughs> truly gone. And with it, the final <laughs> to her old Thank self. you. She could only go forward and find a new place for herself in this world, where she was no longer truly a princess in a tiara and a beautiful gown, but a wan woman, alone in a deep and ancient wood. And that was how the princess lost her most precious Did you treasure. play chapter one? Yeah, I play yesterday, the co uh, complete chapter there one. There were no goblins, and it was depressing. We won't read it again. I love you, Mom. Not me. <laughs> Just kidding. Love you, Mom. I love you, too. Yeah. <clears throat> Sleep well and dream. I think dreams. first moment that I only uh, take the chapter one only for free. And search like an idiot on Steam for chapter two, chapter three. Ollie?
Don't feel good. No, man. <laughs> oh no, shit. Oh no. I killed mom. I killed her. Why you kill your mom? Tell me why. Chapter two. Yeah, I, I'm not sure if it uh, is the music copyright free. <clears throat> you can hear me? Test? Ah, okay, perfect. Is it better? Please skip, skip. be closing a chapter of our lives, you know? And instead we've spun off a whole miserable prequel trilogy. Okay. No. We're not letting ourselves do this again. Come on. Up. My numbing labor's a great way to forget your troubles. Uh... Can't we just have coffee instead? No. On your feet, soldier. Let's take a break from packing and sort out the furniture. Mm. If we get enough done, I'll drive you into town and buy you a gallon of ice cream. Mint Thank chocolate you. chip, two gallons. Let's do this.
goblin face is keep dollar sign is donate or sell and trash can as well trash but what a ground floor the way i cleared out most of the stuff from the bathroom this morning but i left you the toilet how very generous of you Hmm, crummy table and wobbly chairs. Uh. It's trash. We ate way too much expired food on this table. Oh, oh you put an. Oh, God. That's. What's that? Oh, true. Where is dashboard? Hey. Um. Uh, yeah, fucking. Uh. Settings. Team. Ah. Team. Ah, oh, it's already. It's already. It's already. It's. <clears throat> it's, it's enabled. <clears throat> Spell. Ugh, gross stain is gross. Uh, what happened? Some unfortunate spillage that brought about the end of indoor tea parties. I hid the stain with my toys, forgetting that they would eventually be picked up. Brilliant move, Ronan. <laughs> I was so afraid that Marianne would ground me for the rest of my life. But she didn't, right? No. I remember her saying that that sufficiently adventurous play ensures that accidents will happen and that it wasn't a big deal. But still, no more tea parties inside. I guess it's finally time to take these pictures down. Yeah, still deciding what to do with them. I mean, most of them are pretty happy memories. I guess. You look cute here. That's not me. I mean, it is, but... But not really. I get it. It's just weird seeing myself like that again. Damn. Didn't think a picture could throw me like this anymore. Uh...
All right. I'm sorry. That sounds really rough. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm like a thousand times better, but I've got a ways to go before I'm comfortable taking my shirt off, which is why I'm scheduling my top surgery as soon as we sell this house. No more putting a binder on every morning. God, that sounds fucking amazing. Yeah, totally. Just so you know, I'll be there to help out when you do. Whatever you need. <laughs> Thanks. All right. What's your verdict, Ronan? You know what? I'll keep a few. To remind us how far we've come. Oh man, I love this one. <laughs> Why do I look so pissed? I remember loving this. Maybe because Marianne was sticking a camera in your face? Like Allison. So hold up your fish. It's not my fish anymore. Allison stole it. Wait, what? My sister, the fish thief. <laughs> you were just being bratty. Was I, though? Yes. All I did was help clean it when we were out on the porch. Eddie had to force you to share. What to do with this? Maybe someone would be willing to refinish it. What's this doing down here? Is that gum? Ugh. I guess that was probably me. I completely forgot we had a pet vole for a few days. Poor volcano. She was in rough shape when we found her. Good thing Marianne actually knew what she was doing with injured wildlife. Lasagna! Lasagna! Finish your salad first. Thank you, Tessa. You're a lifesaver. Oh, don't worry about it. They're just leftovers from the restaurant. What about Volcano? She needs to eat her lunch, too. Oh, you're quite right, love. Uh, she can have my corn. <laughs> Here you go, little one. You must be hungry, too. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Tessa didn't have that broom up her ass back then. <laughs> oh, what's that smell? Smells like delicious garbage. Ooh, yes, delicious indeed. <laughs> or it could have been Stinky Pants Sam. <laughs> oh, Stinky Pants Sam! <laughs> Come on now. Sam got that smell getting a skunk out of our barn. Be nice. <gasps> a skunk? What did you do to her? Is she okay? <laughs> sure is. She just went hunting for food and couldn't get back out. All she needed was a little nudge to get her on her own. Sam Kansky, hero of skunk kind. I remember being super impressed by him, and- You hungry? We have a whole lot of nothing. Aw, uh, I was hoping maybe you could make me one of those pickle and ketchup sandwiches. I'm sorry, sir. We are all out of pickles today. Could I interest you in a ketchup-only sandwich? <laughs> Looks like there's still a bottle back here. Uh, ew. Says the guy who used ancient appliances, you are staying here. Although, that oven looks in okay enough shape. No way. We are not moving the oven. Allison, I asked you to clean up the coffee table three times already. I 
forgot. Yeah. Steady now. Take your time. He's not gonna jump up and do the cha-cha. What about me? I wanna clean the fish too. It's not even your fish. You didn't catch anything. Ugh. Only because you wouldn't stop talking and scared all the fish away. Keep your eyes on what you're doing. Allison, when we're done with this half, you can take over and do the other one. That sound fair? Yes. Mm -mm. You're right. I was kind of being a brat. All right. I'll clean it up. Thanks. While you do that, I'll check out the furniture. I'm guessing you want to keep the coffee table? Uh, yeah. Is that okay? Sure. I'm not really planning on bringing furniture to Denali. And if I need a base in Juno, you'll have all the furniture I need. How very non-committal of you. All right, I'll keep it. I really like that armchair. Maybe sit in it for a few minutes and see if you get used to the mold smell first. Uh, on second thought, never mind. Maybe it'll be salvageable with a deep clean? And finally, I hate to say it, but the couches get a one-way ticket to the dump. No protest here. I think I have permanent knee damage from a decade of bumping into the corner of those damn things. Well, then that's it for the living room. You are relieved from your duties. Hey, Allison, come take a break with me. Starting the fire again? Yeah, I'm gonna boil some water. You want something to drink? Would you rather have instant coffee or instant coffee? Hmm, nah, sorry. I'm more of a tea person, get it, tea? As in... Mm-hmm. How long have you been waiting to make that joke? Longer than I'm willing to admit. <laughs> <sighs> I am so glad Eddie came through on the caffeine. Shh, did you hear that? <gasps> the Ice King is sending us a warning. <clears throat> That's a nice face. I wonder if my horse figurine is still in there. What? I wonder if my... You're welcome to stick your hand in there to check. For your punishment, said the Ice King, you shall be banished from the forest. And if you dare come back before the new moon, you shall feel my anger in your gut. Hear it in the wind. Whoosh! <laughs> huh. Do you think the Ice King would really react that way? He may be intimidating, but he's always fair and never mean. Oh, yeah, you're right. Maybe he tells the goblins to help the people they hurt instead? Great idea, sweetie. Why don't we think about it at dinner? I'll put everything away for safekeeping while you go wash your hands. Can you put them in the binder so they don't get stained? Of course, love. <sighs> I still think my dark and twisty version was better put so many hours into that book. Yeah. Our binder was full of extra drawings and incomplete stories. Think they're all still in the kitchen drawer? We should go take a look. <sighs> we don't really want to keep anything in here, right? What is the... What about that dresser? If you want your towels to rot, go for it.
Fair enough. Junkyard. Thanks for clearing out those cabinets. Not my pleasure. Oh, ew, ew, ew. Raven Sarah. Oh, God. I can still taste it. Put it away. Say, ah. Uh, I remember cutting off shaving cream beards with these. Oh, yeah. And what do you know? More stuff. Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. Hey, Tyler, how does five little monkeys go again? Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell down and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor. The doctor said no more monkeys jumping on the bed. No more monkeys jumping on the bed. <laughs> or out of a tree. Don't say that. Mama's gonna be so mad you had to go to the hospital. She worries way too much about what people think. Everything okay up there? Yeah. When's mom coming She'll home? be here soon. Is anyone hungry? No, I'm okay. Thank you. You scared me to death when you fell out of that tree. I cried most of the way to test- Baloney! <laughs> Guess who I found? Baloney! Alley Belly Baloney? We should gather up all our old toys and give them to charity. What's that? I said we should give our old toys to charity. Oh, good idea. Except for maybe one or two? <laughs> Softy. But soft. What light through yonder- Oh, wait. It's just you. Clever. Clever. There's a paper plane stuck in the ceiling light. Maybe it has a secret message from our past selves. Find something to knock it down. Hmm. I could use that ball. Okay. Let's see if I can still do this. Five bucks says you miss. Yo, bro. Five, five come on. Oh, my God. Wow. What is it? Allison's, uh, big... Hey, did you finish packing upstairs? Nope. There's way too much junk to sort through. Read the letter. Hey, Tyler. Hey, is for horses, Allison. <laughs> it drove me so crazy when Marianne said that. Welcome back, Imran. Will this ever stop feeling so weird? Okay, so it's... Seems Charlie might have a few... Holy shit. Charlie is a king. Definitely. A true king. Holy moly. So long, trusty bunk beds. So, you gonna come back down to help me or what? I am back. 
this. Come check this out. Allison's first drafts. Right. Because I didn't contribute at all. Come on. I know you did. I can't believe she kept all these. You'd think putting them on the fridge for a couple of weeks would have been enough. You know how we thought of ourselves as the goblins? Did you ever get the sense that maybe Marianne was the princess in the stories? Uh, yeah. She called her bedroom the princess's sanctum, and she was all alone in the woods, in this house, until we showed up. She was. Alone, but with a few friends who helped her along the way. What right. are you doing? Research. So, if Marianne was the princess, then who were all the rest? And here we go. Oh, come on. Humor me. Really read this stuff? Uh, I, I finished uh, the puzzle yesterday because that's bro. I read only the first section of this text and if i start read the next one i forget the first oh. once don't read the whole thing yeah, I know the best way to solve this thing. Calls Google. <laughs> I just said. Yeah, true. It's okay. The right one. It's this one. He's the left and the motherfucker in the middle is... Like just skip and fill the game. Uh, I... Oh. <laughs> Look Imran. Once upon a time in a deep forest, you lived in a pair of crafty goblins in a cave below. Those princess with carried as much. But blah, 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 blah. And now I read the next sentence. I completely forget what he, the first sentence was. I don't know who is going to read the cool thing through. <laughs> Deep. Oh, poor Moose. Really didn't do him justice. Hmm. Justice? Kind of ironic, huh? Considering he was the lawful you, go here. Oh, okay. Oh. You done? This one. I say, okay, that's correct because... Oh, I can't say that. 
I can say that. It's correct. No? You stunned? All right, I think I'm done. You sure? How do you like them apples? I mean, yeah, sure, maybe. What about these guys? I don't see them being real life people, or this one. Yep, totally Marianne. Why a princess, though? Why not a queen? She hated authority. Yeah, she'd have been a... These specific human attributes you have assigned to these forest animals are truly thought-provoking. Indubitably. What the... You better hurry, or the Mad Hunter will catch us! We need to hide. This way. <gasps> Whoops. What's going on? I... I don't know. I, is he here? Is he really here? I'm scared. Go away! Yeah! Go back to the forest! <laughs> I just streamed. <laughs> 